wish I had a graphing calculator home with me right now to demonstrate fully how to do this, but let's get started here by first figuring out the degree of the polynomial. The degree means what is the highest exponent, like linear, for instance, y equals x plus 2, there's a degree 1. Um, if we're looking at a quadratic equation, degree 2. If we're looking at a cubic equation, degree 3. Okay, so how do we determine that first of all? So I'm going to write down the outputs at negative 49, negative 15, negative 5, oops, sorry, negative 7, negative 9, and 1. And then I need to figure out when is the difference equal. So in order to figure out this difference, I take the second number and I subtract the first. So I take negative 15, subtract, and negative 49. Two negatives make a positive. They're different sign I subtract. I keep the sign of the larger number, it's 34. So what does that mean? That means to go from negative 49 up to negative 15, I'm adding 34. Also, please notice that the input values are consistently, so I'm consistently going up by 1 for me to do this. They're not randomized. It's not like negative 2 and then 3 and then 4 and then 7 and then 9, right? It's consistently going up by 1. Same thing here. I'm taking negative 5, subtracting to negative 15. So negative 5 plus 15, I'm going up 10. Then I'm taking, in this position, I'm taking negative 7, I'm subtracting to negative 5, and I'm going down 2. Negative 9 subtracting to negative 7, I'm going down 2. And 1 subtracting to negative 9, I'm going up 10. This is not the same difference. So the first difference is not the same. If the first difference is the same, I know it is not linear. Okay, let's try quadratic. So exact same thing. We're asking ourselves, from 10, subtract 34. It's the second number, subtract the first. That's how I was able to come up with this number 34. Second number, subtract first. Same thing. 10, subtract 34 is a difference of negative 24. Negative 2, subtract 10 is negative 12. Negative 2, subtract negative 2 gives me 0. 10, subtract. Oh, you can't see that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me zoom out here. A little better view here. 10 subtract negative 2 gives me 12. The second difference is not the same. So if the second difference is not the same, it's not quadratic. Let's try the third difference. Okay. So I have negative 12 subtract a negative 24. Two negatives make a positive, And I'm left with positive 12. 0 subtract negative 12. Two negatives make a positive. I'm left with 12. 12 subtract 0 is 12. This is what I have. So because the third difference is all the same, I know this is going to be a degree 3. It's going to be cubic. Then I would take out my calculator. If you have yours at home, you can clear your calculator. Second plus 712. And then you're going to go to stat. And in stat, you're going to edit, and you're going to place these values in. So this is in your L1 and L2, L1, L2, L1, and L2. And then you can calculate a cubic regression. Now, when you calculate a cubic regression, it's going to produce this answer for you. 2x cubed minus 6x squared plus 2x minus 5. And we're asked to find what's p of 5. So I'm just literally just substitute 5 in here, 5 to the third, minus 6, 5 squared, plus 2 times 5, oh, oh, 2 times 5, minus 5. And you can plug that into your calculator. So 2 times 125 minus 6 times 25 plus 10 minus 5. And we can come up with the answer that way of 105.